A Palestinian security official says Israeli settlers on horseback set fire to at least 1,500 Palestinian-owned olive trees in the West Bank this week as others stoned cars. The incident occurred hours after security forces razed a number of structures built in the unauthorized outposts in the West Bank. The official, Ghassan Dagla, says two Palestinian motorists were lightly wounded and five vehicles damaged near the settlement of Yitzar, outside the Palestinian town of Nablus. He said ten settlers riding horses and carrying torches set fire to between 1,500 and 2,000 olive trees. Olives are an important cash crop for Palestinians who have complained of frequent attacks on their groves by settlers. The violence is part of a price tag policy in which settlers retaliate to the outpost removals by harassing local Palestinians. Police, accompanied by civil administration officials, set out to evacuate illegal structures and three unauthorized outposts in the West Bank. The forces demolished two makeshift homes in the Adayad outpost and then moved on to Nofei Yarden and Mitzpe Dani. The police set out only to evacuate illegal structures that were erected in the recent past, not to evacuate the outposts themselves. Palestinians near Nablus accused the Israeli Defense Force of showing too much lenience toward the settlers who were being encouraged by the Netanyahu government.